Today our text is taken from Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 9, verses 35-38. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Our sermon title, Are You Ready for Our West? Dear family and friends, Mount Olive, today God called us to asking about Are You Ready for Our West? These Verses gives the harvest and workers and the field and the calling you and me to do harvest. Because of the great need of lost people in this world. There are so many Millions and millions of people doesn't know anything about Jesus. They never heard anything about Jesus' love, forgiveness, and the eternal life. And when, where, how the Holy Spirit guides us and gives the strength to live. They doesn't know anything about these things. So they lost, we call they are the people, lost people, they need harvest, workers. Because of the great harvest, of lost people, today we need it. When we see the field, there are so many fields, we name it in the world, India, China, Africa, Middle East, so many countries in the part of the world, they never know, heard about Jesus. Because of here, the harvest is plentiful. There are so many harvests everywhere. It is there. But we needed workers. God wants a plentiful harvest. He needs you and me as his workers. So God today called you and me to do his harvest as a workers. Because of harvest, it is, the, it is the field is there, there are plentiful, the harvest is ready, but you need, someone need to go and pick up the harvest. When we see children's message, the field is there, but need to go and pick up the fruits, bring it to use. The same way when we need to go, take Jesus' love to the people in this world to tell about the good news to the people, those who are lost in their life, they don't know anything. Where I come from, my background, where I grown up, Personally, I've seen people are walking literally 100 mi more than 100 miles, go all the way to the mountain to do the ceremony, which they call, or do the shave, head the shave. 
and do the go the river take the bath to the holy holy river they call it people go all the way to walking on the fire just if you see youtube how the people seeking uh, god's forgiveness through the activities i seen so when when these 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 kind of people we can see we can tell we are they are the people they are un reached peoples unreached peoples there are so many in this world unreached also there are so many people unchurched people they are living nowadays in our midst when we see the here always plentiful the we need our workers that's you and me but the harvest starts are you ready for the harvest to start in our backyard that's why when we see here are you ready for our backyard harvest what is that backyard harvest we talked about the last people unreached people everywhere in this world that is started jerusalem judea samaria until the end of the earth but here god called you and me are you ready to do for our backyard harvest i live in my where we live my home i have a left side right side two homes left side home almost a couple of years now we never ever seen them to smile or even say hi when we are we try i try to say at least just wave they never turned harvest is ready in other right hand side i have another beautiful family two girls one boy 8 years old husband mom and dad we chat time to time they knew we are going to church every week they stop and asked me ah oh, why your guys are going every week to the church i said because i we need to go i need to go to worship oh you are a pastor that's why you are going every week otherwise you don't go no 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 all the christian most of them they go to church because of we need god's presence we need god's forgiveness helps so we talked about for the dad for it when the time comes then a couple of indian family kids come for a bible study or after that we have a backyard we do the uh cook out or do always we have food then when the food is ready we, we will start to pray when we prayed the 8 years old his name is i can j then he asked uh, oh why your guys are uh pray food is ready let eat so i said uh, no we used to we give thanks to god why need to where god where is god why need to give thanks to god food is ready raji he don't say ra pastor raji or anything he said 80 years old in our culture we never say raji so uncle raji or pastor raji so raji so i said okay jay we need to pray so then we tell him about the god we need to pray to god this happened in my backyard then it comes reflected my mind we are talking about the missions global mission world missions and everywhere missions mission india so many things so mexic everywhere but god calls us to think about you and me to do something our backyard ministries we have our midst 
in our backyard, our street, our neighbors. So many people we can see, we can pass, we can drive, we can walk. We never have a chance to say hi, or at least we need to tell about Jesus loves you. That's all my concerns. We need to tell to the people, unchurched people in our backyard, unreached peoples in our neighborhood. They, today we need, God calls you. There are the plentiful harvest. They are the people uh, as a harvest. They are ready. But you and me need to do harvest, backyard harvest. The backyard ministries continue our workplaces, our neighborhoods. In our, wherever we go, in our grocery stores. Just what do we need to do there? What's the business there? Not don't take big Bible and preach, no. Just to tell them, uh, God bless you, or Jesus loves you, and smile. Then they need to know, you are the, you, we are a Christian with forgiveness and blessed and hope and eternal life. We know everything. But those people doesn't know anything. When we move, when with the eight years old uh, Jay called why we need a God, food is here, ready, ready to eat. There are so many kids, their families are here, never go to church, they doesn't know anything. They are growing like that. So we need uh, backyard ministries continue to our workplace, our neighborhood, our, our area to do everything. That is called, we call the, in workplace, backyard ministries, continuous workplace. So why we need to do? Because this is the great commission. This is the great commission of, the, of our Lord Jesus Christ. When do you remember when he is ascension, before ascension, go to heaven, he gave a command, Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. How beautifully a given great commissions to you and me to carry his missions, to carry, uh, to do the harvest as a worker, you and me. We are workers, yes. We are workers for Jesus. We are workers for the, to do the, uh, the harvest in our backyards in our neighbor places, in our neighborhood. Because of this, the Holy Spirit calls us for Jesus. You will be my witnesses. When we remember all the three scriptures, even Sam, how they rejoice, glad in it. How go and tell the mountain, go and tell about Jesus, tell about God's love. How the, the feet are beautiful, those who are preach the gospel. Romans, telling about nicely. Hear the gospel about God. One who preach, then only the faith comes from hearing. So how they are here? We need to tell. That's why with the Romans telling Romans, gospel, all the readings, even the songs, when you see today, everywhere, somewhere, it is related to harvest. So harvest is plentiful because of the Holy Spirit. We cannot do anything. The Holy Spirit, he, the Holy Spirit gives the strength, you and me, for Jesus, telling us, you will be my witnesses. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and all the ends on the earth, of the earth. So how today when we see, it is, it is not easy. There are some struggles. 
It is not easy. We have so many things to do. Yes. On top of that, this is a great commission. You and me. God calls you and me, telling you will be my witnesses. So that, that we need to do these ministries. Even though we have tired, we have things to do for family, work, and many things. This is the world we are, uh, when we see, this is the world it is, there is no time, anything, unless we, we find the time. It's keeping rushing world, keeping rush, 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 keeping going, going, going. But we need God gives the pretty good chance in our, in our hand to take, to do the harvest in our, our backyard, in our places. When I, I'm very thankful, Mount Olive, they are doing already the harvest. They are sending the people and doing the many things, many your mission, uh, support going around and around if Indiana and the states and veterans and military and the cults and so many things you are already started. Because of, that's the way. It's not only preaching, but you do Mount Holly. I appreciate many of you do things. Even five, maybe four or five years back, Pastor Jeff, when we talked, he asked me, oh, Pastor Raji, I couldn't understand. Can you tell me one more time? I don't, I'm not catching with you. Then I tell, okay, this is, a, I mean it. Uh, really, still I'm not understanding. Can you tell me one more time? Then again, I'm telling, this is the way I, I'm telling some words. Almost four times, five years back, I'm telling, keeping on, one more time, one more time. My accent. Now I'm doing two times now. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good now. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So this is the way it is a, for harvest. There are struggles. For me as a mission pastor, I do harvest. So many of you know I'm working as a chaplain at Methodist, Methodist Hospital. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., people cry and ask tomorrow, chaplain, pastor, tomorrow my surgery. If I die, I don't know where I need to go. Can you tell me? I seen, seen every week. They don't know. So for me, that's the field. For me, I do harvest. I tell them about Jesus. I'm telling them about, about if he repented, if he reconciliation repented, Jesus loves him and forgiveness, and I make the assurance nothing will happen to him because of they are went to until the high school, they are okay. College, they lost track, go to church, not having the faith, and they enter to the world, living, then come back 45, 50, all with his, all the disease, need to go for the surgery. Then it comes all the mind. I went to the church with my grandma, my grandpa, my uncle. They, we, we went, we are very fine until high school. After that, I lost. Can you please tell me with tears? That is the harvest in our backyard. Same thing when you see the people and talk with people, tell something if they sense, then you talk about Jesus, tell the all we, we are having, having uh, we are received the blessings through Holy Communion. He died for us on the cross. He forgives us, renew us, and take care of us. So, though the, so this is the way this of calls for you and me. Harvest is ready. So I have a, conclude with a, one question. If you want to say, say me yes. Are you ready for the harvest? Yes? All of you. Are you ready for the harvest? Yes. Very good. Blessings. Amen. <laughs>